Hello, uh, assalamu alaikum guys. Uh, this is uh, Jess Kotick uh, from uh, YouTube channel Seven Engineer. Uh, a short video for th there's been uh, a few questions uh, repeatedly asked in the past few weeks on the civil engineering uh, channel. So I wanted to just make a short video just to answer those questions uh, to make sure yeah, everyone is clear uh, what they're looking for. So the, 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 the question I'm, I'm uh, actually clearing here is. Uh, it's, it's actually what course to choose or what, what, what is in demand basically course in the UK for the MSc and uh, the other question is, is quite a few recent changes to the immigration and student law here in the UK so I'll cover these questions here so the, 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 the first question about the uh, what, what, uh, what MSc course to choose from and um, so I, I would say I repeatedly yeah, said this uh, in, in my videos that UK is in high demand of uh, actually it's in high demand of, of engineers here so uh, it doesn't matter what, what MSc course, engineering course, civil engineering related course you choose whether it's, a, it's a structure engineering, it's a transportation, it's a railway related uh, that will lead you to a job here is, is, is in high demand here and um, so uh, any any course that will lead you to to a good job here good, good job prospects here in the uk um the, the for salary wise uh, certainly i would prefer to go uh, railway side or construction management side uh that will give you an edge over the uh, other disciplines like uh, structure engineering yeah design um so the, they will give you more more money here uh salary wise but uh, apart from that, uh, in terms of the job prospects, it's in high demand, and um, I'm, I'm certainly yeah, you can you can get a job with once you have completed your MSc here. So I hope this this clarifies yeah, your your question here. Uh, right, the second question is about the immigration changes yet yeah, the, the the law changes here recently for the students uh, uh, and. Uh, the main change ha uh, that, that happened yeah, to the law is about the PSW inclusion. So anyone who's complete, basically who's starting their studies from uh, September uh, this year here. Uh, so after completion, they will get two year PSW post-study work visa. And uh, what does that mean? That, that they, they will be allowed to work basically full time in the UK for two years. And uh, once they've, they've uh, they got the job, uh, post that completion of two years, the uh, the employer, I mean, uh, if, if they're happy with the work, they, they can extend their visa and uh, finally yeah, they can settle in here. Uh, the, the next, actually, the next thing, the, the next changes, I mean, they bring it, that brought in here is about the uh, uh, about, about the point-based system, I mean that that that's going to start in the January 2021. It's similar, uh, sort of similar uh, sort of system that uh, Canada and Australia is use, currently using. Actually, a similar uh, uh, number-based system uh, that that's going to be implemented here for the experienced and skilled workers. Uh, so the requirements are. I mean, they they are in the. Uh, I will add the link actually into the description. You can you can go into the link and uh, they will give you basically the whole list what you need basically to get the 70 point that is required for immigration here in the UK uh, and um, if you got any question about anything um, well I, I, I can try to the best of my ability to answer your questions so I hope I mean this this clarifies your your questions here if you got any more questions anything so please free to ask or comment in the, in the section below and I'll try the best of my ability and knowledge to answer your questions and I'm here actually just walking around there's lots of uh, guys from the school here around you can see here I'm just sharing yeah, the uh, the site here it's a walking site so I hope guys um, uh, this this help you and um, it's, it's, it's the same question uh, it's been asked yeah repeatedly so I'm just answering yeah those those questions here I hope this uh, this helps you and if you've got any more questions anything please use the comment section below and before I go please um, make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you've got any more questions consider the comment section below and I'll be happy to take your your questions and uh, to the best of my knowledge and ability and experience I will try to respond and uh, yeah your, your queries there thank you very much and uh, have a good day thank you bye